My name is Amanda Martin. I'm with Grounded Solutions, a native plant landscaping company. And I'm here today with the IFIS Extension Office and the Master Gardeners. We're here today doing a garden, a native plant garden downtown on Jackson and Roslyn. We focused on all native plants today from a grant from the Florida Wildflower Foundation. So I was able to do a design to help out uh, and add some structure to the garden that was already here. We've introduced three or four new species and we've aggregated the plants into mass planting so that we're gonna have groups of flower color together and allow for the wildflowers to seed and reseed and pop up in that wildflower meadow that everybody and the butterflies like. So a few of the plants that we've added to the downtown garden uh, we do have the South American tropical milkweed going on and we've added our Florida native swamp weed, uh, Asclepius incarnata. This will be the monarch butterfly larval host and we have what's going to become a nice big shrub which is a sage or button lantana, uh, Salvia involucrata. That'll attract a lot of smaller butterflies. We have our native quarter weed that is going to stay low, and we've added five Florida privets, Foresteria segregata, which is going to grow into small trees that produce an olive like droop for birds. So I was trying to match on this side of the garden some tree canopy height that's going to feed the birds and allow them to kind of fly back and forth for a little bit more of a bird sanctuary feel. So in this area of the garden, we've kind of removed a lot of our reseeding plants that we have plenty of. We didn't eliminate them from the garden, such as the sand dune sunflower and rosin flower, silphium. And we've added uh, what will be a ground cover of twin flower, um, which hopefully will become a, a good uh, St. Augustine sod alternative and it is a larval host for the Florida Buckeye. One of my favorite plants is the Monarda punctata, the spotted horse mint. It gives a great fall flower and is adored by over 20 different species of pollinators. We've accented with a little bit of uh, mint. It can have a culinary purpose in your garden as well as Bumblebees love this plant. And then we have a backdrop of some height with the ironweed. And this is the dwarf ironweed, which at full growth grows to three to four feet versus the gigantic ironweed, which will grow six to eight feet. So we're bringing in more purples and blues and a little bit of diversity for the backdrop of Kuntis and then more wild flowers to forage on by the bird bath. So thanks for taking a tour of the garden with me. Again, my name's Amanda Martin. I'm with Grounded Solutions, a native landscaping company. And please come down and enjoy the public garden.